great weekend and also looking for a great weekend to do this. Honey bees are the most important pollinator for the food we eat and crops we grow, but new research says we are losing them at an alarming rate. But this Saturday, the Honey Bee Conservancy is partnering with the beekeeping agencies from around the world to launch Bee Blitz 2019, kicking off on Governor's Island, and the event hopes to protect the biodiversity of bees in the U.S. while spreading environmental awareness to the public. Joining us today is Guillermo Friandez. Thank you so much for being here. He's the executive director of the Honey Bee Conservancy. Guillermo, we were just chatting a little bit. Bees are so important to our environment, to the food we eat, and pollination across the country and really around the world, but a lot of people aren't really aware of that. That's true. Bee, we rely on bees. Bees pollinate about one in three bites of food. We eat some of our favorite foods like strawberries, almonds. A lot of those crops would disappear without bees. Unfortunately, there's research that shows that one in four bee species is heading towards extinction. So that affects everyone around the world, globally. Why did you decide Governor's Island? And tell me a little bit more about the Bee Blitz. Governor's Island is a really fantastic space. It used to be an abandoned military mm -hmm. facility, but now it's a center for design and for sustainability. So we have a bee sanctuary and research center at the urban farm at Governor's Island. Now, is that there year round? It's there year round wow, and it's open okay. to the public. So now this event this weekend, why is it a little bit different and what do you hope people will come and take away from this? This weekend's event, the Bee Blitz, is very exciting. It's a citizen science program where we're inviting the public to come armed with curiosity and their camera phones to help us photograph the diversity of bee species on the island. This is incredible. Look at these pictures here. I want to talk a little bit more about some of the statistics you just gave us. We have them on the screen so people can really understand uh, the importance of what we're talking about. And the announcement of the event, you mentioned that the bites of food we eat depends on bees, one in three actually. And also the report says that more than 40% of beekeeper colonies were lost between 2015 and 2016. Tell me about the rising risk of extinction and, and why this is happening. There are a lot of factors that contribute to that. Uh, everything from habitat loss to pesticide use, and some say even global warming is impacting a number of bee species. But us as citizens, we can actually do something to help them. And what would you suggest we do? Well, I'd start off by building habitat. Mm -hmm. I'd buy local honey, although I'm not opposed to non-local honey. And also let's reduce our use of pesticides have you found, though, that honey has kind of made a resurgence recently with sweeteners, and now I feel like you can get all sorts of flavored honey. Absolutely. Which it's is a, actually delici yeah. delicious if you haven't tried it before. Yeah. It's a new trend in artisanal food, mm -hmm. local honey, because local honey, bees fly about three miles, so the honey you get in Brooklyn will taste different than from Staten Island. So why did you decide Governor's Island? Governor's Island is an incredible center of sustainable design. A few years ago, it used to be an abandoned military base, right. and now it's a thriving uh, center of nature in the urban city. Do you feel as though people coming here will be so surprised at the things that they see and learn? We have a fantastic bee sanctuary at Governor's Island that's going to introduce people to the diversity of bee species from bumblebees to leafcutter bees. And tell us about the organizations involved, because I saw a, different, a couple different names and groups yeah. contributing here. Yeah, so the Honey Bee Conservancy is partnering with Island Bee Project and Governor's Island to host the bee blitz on, on the island. And you know, if people haven't at home, if you're watching this or wherever you're traveling, if you haven't watched, if you haven't learned more about bees, and everything that they do. I watched, I was telling you this really interesting documentary, and I was just fascinated by the work that these beekeepers do and the sustainability and what they're trying to do to have a resurgence and how important they are. Would you say that this is something that keeps you busy? <laughs> I, I had to. Terrible joke. Yeah, it I, came to me right I on the moment. To always, managed to always hive a good time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you You're so right much. there with me as well. Uh, tell me a little <laughs> bit more about the event. Is it free? And, and what are the you know stats around it here? The Bee Blitz on Governor's Island is this Saturday. It's free okay. and it's open to the public. It kicks off at 11 a.m. Okay, great. Thank you so much for joining us and playing along with me. I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate it so much. And we wish you all the best. And we want everyone to get involved and join in on trying to make this happen. Thank you. Thank you, Guillermo.